It's only the second week of the season, but the Eastern Conference is bracing for its first major showdown. The Cardinals and the Cleveland Browns, both victorious in opening games and both picked as potential conference champions, square off in Cleveland's Lakefront Stadium. Jim Bakken brushes up on the expert place kicking technique that will serve St. Louis in good stead today. Larry Wilson holds. Wilson has long been regarded as one of the top safety men in the league. The Cleveland Browns displaying a flashy aerial attack this year receive a jolt on the first scrimmage play of the game as linebacker Larry Stallings intercepts Frank Ryan's pass returning to the Cleveland 22. A big red offense geared to strike at any time swings into action. John David Crow snares a pass and rockets away to a touchdown. The game is just 50 seconds old and already St. Louis leads 7-0. A rash of Cleveland field goals leaves the Cardinals clinging to a one-point advantage in the second quarter. Charlie Johnson's pass to Bobby Joe Conrad sets the stage for a monumental field goal. From 51 yards away, Jim Bakken arches a beauty over the crossbar. The longest field goal in Cardinals history provides St. Louis with a 13-9 margin. The ball staff slow motion camera picks up the action as the Clevelanders snap back. Frank Ryan unloads a bomb to sensational rookie Paul Warfield for a 40-yard touchdown. St. Louis at a 16-13 disadvantage must wait until the third quarter. The deft passing of Charlie Johnson highlights the Cardinals' comeback. Sonny Randall is Johnson's target for a 38-yard touchdown. St. Louis leads 20-16. The Cardinals add a field goal, but a fumble gives Cleveland a scoring opportunity. Frank Ryan connects with Gary Collins on a square-out pattern for a gain of 21. Ryan and Collins come back for an encore, and this one goes for a touchdown. The topsy-turvy tilt is tied at 23 all. On the first play of the final quarter, Charlie Johnson takes advantage of air tight protection and breaks the stalemate with a long scoring pass to Sonny Randall. The 50-yard touchdown vaults St. Louis ahead, 30-23. Watch the Cardinals' tough defensive end, Joe Robb, number 84, lower the boom on Cleveland's Jim Brown. This is a major job for any team's defense, and the Big Red did it well. Before Ryan can pump new life into the sputtering Cleveland attack, number 72 Sam Silas roars in to dump the Browns' passer for a loss. Cleveland's recourse is to have Lou Vito Groza kick his fourth field goal of the game. The Browns creep closer at 30-26. Seventy-seven thousand fans are on the edges of their seats as the game heads toward a dramatic finish. Frank Ryan pinpoints Gary Collins to put Cleveland on the Cardinals one-yard line. With less than a minute to go, Jim Brown rocks the Big Red as he scores on an end sweep. Cleveland assumes command 33-30. Forty-eight seconds remaining and St. Louis is in possession. Cardinal receivers fan downfield and Charlie Johnson hits Joe Childress for 24 yards. Five seconds to go and Jim Bakken saves the day with a clutch field goal. The key contest ends in a 33-33 tie. 